So in this video, we want to find the stationary points and determine their types for y equals 5x e to the x. So the first thing that we would need to do is find dy by dx. Now we need to decide on how we're going to differentiate 5x e to the x. And we need to spot that this is utilising the product rule because we have 5x times e to the x. So the product rule would be the first times by the derivative of the second, so 5x times e to the x, plus the second times the derivative of the first. 5x differentiates to 5. So we can write that as 5x e to the x plus 5 e to the x. Now, stationary points exist when dy by dx is 0. So 5x e to the x plus 5e to the x is equal to 0. So we now need to solve this equation. Now, we can divide through by 5 to start off with. So we have x e to the x plus e to the x equals 0. You could divide through by e to the x in this case because e to the x cannot be 0. So you won't lose any solutions. I don't always like doing that in general, so because of the, the possibility of losing solutions, even though I know I won't in this example, so generally I like to factorise this instead. And so I'll factor the e to the x, and I'll have x plus 1 equals 0. So that implies that x must be equal to minus 1, as e to the x cannot be 0. So, we have one stationary point, and it's got x equals minus 1. I'd like to work out what the y-coordinate is for that. So, if I have minus 1 as the x value, then the y value will be 5 times minus 1 times e to the minus 1. So, minus 5 e to the minus 1 is a stationary point. OK, we now need to determine its type. So I'm going to do that using the second derivative test. So I'm going to find the second derivative, d2y by dx squared. And I'm going to differentiate this. Now, this first part, we're going to have to use the product rule. And remember, that is precisely the same as the uh, function that we started with. So we know that 5x e to the x differentiates to that. So we'd have 5x e to the x plus 5e to the x. So that is the derivative of that. And then we also have the plus 5e to the x, which differentiates to 5e to the x. So this is 5x e to the x plus 10e to the x. So I need to substitute in the x equals minus 1. OK, so we're going to get minus 5e to the minus 1, and then plus 10e to the minus 1. And so that would be 5e to the minus 1. Now, e to the minus 1, because e to the x can never be negative, um, it's always greater than 0, e to the minus 1 is a positive value. So 5e to the minus 1 is positive. Therefore, minus 1 minus 5e to the minus 1 has to be a local minimum because this is showing us that the curve is convex at that point. So convex, and so it has to be a local minimum. So therefore, minus 1 minus 5e to the minus 1 is a local minimum. And that was the answer we were looking for.